Welcome to Shorewood High School, the home of Team Pronto Robotics. Let's join them in the shop and see what they're up to. It looks like it's Stuart's first day. First things first, he'll start off by getting a lecture from the safety manager. Then he'll have to pass the safety test with 100%. Good job, Stuart. Now that you've passed, you're free to get to work. First, he'll need his personal protection equipment, or PPE. He'll need to put on his first approved safety glasses, or goggles, or side shields if he has prescription glasses. He'll make sure he has closed-toed shoes on, and have all loose articles of clothing. and hair secured properly. For his first task in the shop, Stuart will get a piece of metal ready. Watch how he secures the metal in a vise before cutting it with a hacksaw, taking care to keep all his fingers and limbs clear. But don't grab it yet, it'll still be hot and sharp. First, Stuart will use a file on the cut edge. Nice work, Stuart. The same principles apply if you're using a wood saw, except that you substitute the file with sandpaper. Next, Stuart needs to bolt the metal to the frame. To achieve this, he needs to drill holes in the metal using a power drill or a drill press. With the metal secure, make sure to drill at medium speed while applying gentle forward pressure. With the drill press, the rules are the same, except the clamps are substituted for the vise. Now Stuart wants to attach a bracket. No, not like that. That's right. On a completely different note, Stuart needs to shorten a piece of plexiglass for his teammate. After switching on the power, Stuart keeps his hands at a safe distance from the blade while steadily pushing the piece underneath. If he were cutting the metal, Stuart would be wearing protective work gloves, as the metal becomes very hot. Make sure to brush away any debris and unplug the power cord to avoid an accident. This is good practice for all power tools. It looks like a bolt has gotten stuck in one of the holes that Stuart has just drilled. One effective way to get that out is using a hammer or mallet. Proper use of a hammer is always a good idea. When hammering, make sure to keep your body away from the receiving end. If you have to hold something in place, use lighter controlled taps. Now that the team has finished building the robot, it's time to start on the electronics. In order to attach the wires, Stuart is going to need to start crimping or attaching the connectors to the end of the wires. When crimping, cutting, or stripping wires, remember to keep your fingers out at all times. Now Stuart is ready to solder to complete the connection between mechanism and electronics board. The solder tool is very hot, so make sure not to touch the iron until it has sufficiently cooled. Great job, team! To power your robot, you're going to need to attach a battery. You'll need to be very careful handling the battery as it contains highly toxic chemicals which will burn your skin on contact. If a leak occurs, put on chemical proof gloves and neutralize everything that the acid touches with baking soda. If you're unfortunate enough to spill some on yourself, immediately head over to the chemical shower.
make sure to remove all clothes that the chemicals have soaked into. Don't be shy now, safety first! That robot sure is running swell, but remember, safety doesn't end there. Don't work on the robot while the robot is enabled, and always power down every part of the robot after you're done using it. Parts that aren't in their lowest position could drop on you, and motors could turn back on. You don't want to lose any fingers! At the end of the day, cleanup is important to keeping a safe and happy work area. Make sure you get all parts, projects, and tools put away so that the next day everything will be clean for those who normally use the auto shop. Great job on your first day, Stuart. How about a chip to celebrate? Nuh-uh. No eating food in the auto shop. You could accidentally ingest hazardous materials, or worse, get food on the robot. Now that you know the rules, you and the team can enjoy many more build seasons safely ever after.